Today we're going to demonstrate how to balance the water flow rate through this regulating valve. We need to know what the KBS value is of the valve that you're working on. Now to get that information, you need to know what the size of the pipe is. And to find out what the size of the pipe is, usually on the side of the valve, you'll have some information to tell you what that is. So this valve says DN40. So for this valve, the KVS value is 26.5. Uh, when I input that into the meter and connect my two low and high side connections on these two points here, I'll get a liters per second flow rate reading. So what we're doing is setting the right flow rate through liters per second with this regulating valve to achieve the design specification for heat transfer for the coil. So firstly, we attach the low side of our meter to the system. And now I need to open this valve. So to open the valve, I twist this nut on the inside and hold this in place. You get a little bit of water coming out, but it stops. There's your equalizing or flush line. So what happens is when you open it, it opens the whole chamber. And we do that to get the air out of the system. So now that I have that open, I can bleed the air out. To do that, I open this valve, open that valve, and as you can see, getting all the air out of the system, that's enough. You can't see any air bubbles in the line coming from the low side to the high side of our meter. So now that I've taken all the air, I can connect the high side to the system. Same way, quick coupling, locks into place. Open the valve, same as I did on the low side. Can now close the equalizing valve in, on the meter. So now we're going to enter the KVS value of the valve, which is for this particular valve, it's 26.5. So now straight away, it's given me. Uh, differential pressure, which is really high. I need my liters per second, which is here. Button. So I'll press the flow button to get the liters per second for what's actually happening through this pipe right now. As you can see, I'm slowly backing off the valve. I can refer back to the manufacturer's specification and at one part of differential pressure, it would say that I need 0.7 liters per second going through this pipe to achieve the optimum flow rate designed for the coil. And which we've done. Which is what exactly what we've done.